uh, Y Combinator is a seed fund that funds early stage technology companies here in Silicon Valley. Uh, what we look for in a team is really, you know, generally people who have a good market insight. Um, they've worked together, founders who have worked together before, um, have a balance of skill sets. So, you know, if they're a technology company, usually it's someone who's really strong in technology and someone else who is really good at the business or design aspects of the of what the startup's doing. Um, we fund about 150 companies every year, and uh, those founders come from all over the world. No, I think sometimes it's good to have, you know, humanities background. My, my background is, you know, I, I majored in philosophy as, you know, one of my majors. The most important thing that I have is not like the ability to program or anything. It's really just really critical thinking and problem solving, right? And you learn that by doing it, right? But I think that you learn it by, you know, take, you know, in a lot of different classes, whether it's like math class or it's, you know, philosophy helped me a lot because there was a lot of like logic to it, right? And like kind of thinking through things logically. Most of my job today is not programming. It's just communicating a thing, and, you know, how we should, people should attack problems, how they should approach problems, um, and just being able to write and concisely and, and uh, well, I think is probably one of the most important skills in, in business. A lot of people, I think, think that technology companies are built by, uh, you know, all really strong technical founders, but we find that that's not necessarily the case all the time. YC has funded a bunch of different companies over the years. Some of the notable ones are like Dropbox or Airbnb. A great example of a team with diverse skill sets is, was Airbnb. Um, those guys came in and, uh, you know, they were a team of one programmer and two designers. Guys who were the designers, Brian and Joe, really brought this element to the company that were that was a lot more um, of a community side, like all these like soft skills around like how they built the product, how they made it feel, how like all the community aspects of you know getting people comfortable with staying at, at other people's houses. My company, Justin TV, uh, we're most famous for Twitch which is our um, live video site for gaming. We reach about 45 million people every month um, with our gaming content. Kyle, my co-founder, built the hardware for doing the streaming platform. Um, Emmett, my other, one of my other co-founders, built the software side of it, so he was doing all the, you know, the website and like what you would use as a viewer to come and, and like watch live video streams. Um, I kind of built, like designed the product, the first version of the product, and my other co-founder, Michael, uh, was from a political science background actually and he kind of ran the business side and the fundraising and kept us you know all well funded and able to like actually work on the company one of my uh, co-founders he was actually the you know business guy and he suggested that we might want to focus on mobile and build an, an app that let anyone share video from their mobile phones um, and then we launched it um, and eventually spun it off as a company called social cam uh, and sold it to autodesk for 60 million in 2012. So, you know, that was an idea that was from someone who wasn't, you know, on the engineering side. Lots of products now are really design-focused products, um, like our product design and also like the visual design and like how people use um, the app. I think one really great example recently was this, this is an app you might have heard of called Secret, uh, which allows people to anonymously share uh, you know, it's kind of like Twitter, but people can share anonymously, and it's a very beautiful app. And I think that the kind of uh, the, the design t t details in the app have really helped propel it to you know, an app that people use a lot. There are soft skills you that that every company needs that are not going away. You know, like sales is a great example, right? Like every company, Facebook, Twitter, Google, they all have like big sales teams. There's you know kind of product design, uh, you know, communications and PR people. You can look at like any of these, you know, kind of uh, new technology companies, whether it's Facebook or Dropbox, and they have huge, like, you know, a, lot, a huge focus on design, um, both on the like visual design aspects, but also like the user interaction. And those are those are skills that are, you know, not exactly hard STEM skills.